This time on the Austin Healy channel, I find a missing puzzle piece, install the batteries, and start it up for the first time. Again. Have you ever been doing a jigsaw puzzle and gotten down to like the last four pieces and realized that there's five holes? And then you find that missing piece on the floor underneath the table? That's kind of where I am right now. I have a few more things to do on the car, but I was missing a piece. And that piece I ended up finding almost in my own neighborhood. What piece is it? It's the generator. I'm on Facebook Marketplace and I like to just browse and see what's, what's there and uh, every once in a while it pops up something very interesting. And there was a listing for a bunch of Austin Healey 100 parts. And I went, hmm, I have an Austin Healey 100. So I started looking and there's a generator in the picture. I went, dude, I need a generator. I need the right generator. I had planned on putting an alternator in the season one car and using that generator in season two, but you know, I do like to keep things original. I saw this, this post, it had these parts, it had a generator, and it was located uh, nine minutes from my house. So I'm like, dude, I gotta check that out. So I, <laughs> I wrote to the guy, we, had, we, we met up, uh, it turns out that he's, he, uh, he used to own the green BN1 that I followed around in one of the rallies. But he sold that because he needed room for other toys. And he had all these parts left over. Uh, parts that had taken off the car. It kind of looks like parts, uh, lots of the parts look like parts where he upgraded you know, he took the generator off to put in an alternator. He took the distributor off to put in a 321. Just lots of stuff like that. I went over and, you know, I, we, we had a great conversation. He's a really nice guy. Uh, and I ended up buying the generator and got all the other parts to go with it. I immediately went home and, and bench tested the generator and it works. It's, it's a bit scuffed up, so we're going to uh, do some, some cosmetic work on it. I am going to go ahead and take it all apart to, to clean it up, uh, but it's the right part for the right, for the right place on the car. And I'm just super thrilled to have it. And all the extra parts I got are pretty freaking cool too. The, the brake drums you see here, those are actually aluminum. They're the fancy aluminum uh, brake drums with the, the steel lining. And I don't know if I'm going to use any of these parts on, uh, on this car besides the generator, but there's some really cool stuff in there and I'm excited to have it all. So let's take the generator apart and get it cleaned up. Interesting, right here the uh, the rivet has has pulled pulled out, and that's that's loose there. 
It's good that we're taking it all the way apart. <clears throat> we wouldn't have found that. What's really nice is whoever took this apart, well, lots of these parts, they, they put the original bolts back in, so, I know, you put it back together. This wires come off in the when I removed it. I'll have to fix that. Brushes are good, nice and beefy still. Here's the original rivet. I couldn't find one that was long enough. So what am I gonna do? Wait, sit around and wait for a parts order to come in? No. I took a piece of rod, cut it off a little extra long, beat one end over, and flipped it over and beat the other end over. I made my own rivet. And they're just aluminum, because you know it's going into aluminum, so they're very soft, easy to beat over. Um, right now it's very, very tight. So I'm very happy with uh, my improvisation.
If you want to come along on the ride as we complete this project, click the subscribe button. If you want YouTube to tell you every time there's a new video, click the alarm bell. Thanks for watching, and your support is very much appreciated.